You're listening to the Bonnery Show. It's eight in the evening. Tune in every night at eight to listen to the Bonnery Show on Irish News Radio or ITV.ie. And you can contact anything that you've heard or if anything you'd like to discuss at news at Irish News. Bonnery Show on ITV.ie and Irish News Radio. Today is Thursday. We're talking about the EU. And whoa, what's been going on in the EU? Okay, so we'll start off with Brexit, which um seems to be an absolutely mess. They're trying to put it through to the Lancaster House, but it has failed the test. The draft agreement failed the test. Um, so the, it's very, very unlikely it'll be has no chance. They say that it'll go through the House of Commons. The English are very angry and upset. Uh, I think they just want to go. And this holding on, it's been very, very unfair on them. Um, And they're very angry at their Prime Minister, which I don't blame them. Um, This thing about putting the the border in the Irish Sea is unfair on the Northern Irish as well. And keeping them in the custom union, that is just not right. The British, the only way that they can do is to leave without a deal, let the EU chase them and let the EU fall apart. You know, why are the British even entertaining this rubbish? There was 30 years of violence. Why would the British I half agree to sign off the six counties into into the EU, because it's not Ireland anymore, it is the EU. Then there's this EU army that seems to be, which used to be considered a conspiracy theory. Um, and we were, in Ireland, were promised when we were made sign the Lisbon and the Nice Treaty twice, and um, again, because they didn't like our first answers, that this would never happen. It's ridiculous thoughts. It's a conspiracy, fear-mongering, all the rest of it. It will leave Germany in control. Um, It's a scary situation. It's really long. And how long before that they they do decide to, to use their powers to any country that is speaking out against their agenda? Like, this is Nazism. We're all right back. Germany has won. Or the elites. I'm not even sure it's even Germany. I think it is the elites behind them, which is the EU and the U- UN. And they will come after anybody speaking out about their government. And the thoughts about, you know, France saying, saying about he wants the army to go after Trump, America. Like, this is a ridiculous situation. There would be no France without America. I mean, this is crazy, absolutely insane. It's, it's very, very scary times. They've already threatening to remove the EU commissioner for voting rights. So they're, they're saying it will be totally undemocratic and they're calling the right the actual true governments in these countries, because they have conservative views, anti, anti-democratic, because they have conservative views. Like, Leo is a very dangerous, dangerous man, and that is the worst. We are in danger because of Leo, because he's got in. He was pimped and primed in the EU. He was trained to do what he is doing, which he has an absolutely hate for the indigenous Irish. And he's destroying all our Christian values, everything. He he works for the EU. He does not work for Ireland. He is being paid, properly paid. Hugely, although he gets well well paid by being an Irish shocked, he's been really paid by sorrows to destroy Ireland. Our culture, our Christian values, Everything we stand for. Another one is Zapone, another the Canadian one. She's an imposter. There's quite a few in the Irish government who are imposters, and they are just destroying Ireland. Um, and that's what it's about. It's. it's I hope that there is a war soon, because 
this is the only chance that we have of fighting back from them. Other than that, we are going down and people are still asleep. Whoever is the, the is behind the destruction of South Africa, Europe. And it's happening. We're all going to have to stick together as countries, all countries who believe that each country should be independent and free, not under some slavery system. We're all going to have to set up our own systems again and interlinked with other countries who will do the same. Now, I'm hoping England will have a no deal because I, I re really can't see it getting through Commons and I really hope it doesn't get through Commons and I really hope that they leave without a deal and that will force the EU to come out with their true colours and maybe even use the EU army against the British, which will be good because at least then the colours will be truly seen and that the English have, the British will have a chance of fighting back before it's completely gone. So I do actually hope that the British leave without a deal. I think it's the best thing. And let's see the EU's true colours come out because then they're in a dangerous situation because their project is falling apart. And then they know other countries will start to look to leave as well. So the best thing is that if the EU falls apart, we will see the EU army come about fairly quickly and even to go and try and attack the UK, which is where the Irish will join with the British. It'll be, I, I actually do believe that it'll be the wake up call for the Irish because I, no matter as much as the bad blood between the English, la la la, and all that, and they want them to stay in Brexit and all that, the, the Irish will, won't go against the English for another country. There is no way that the Irish will fight against the British. Not for anybody. They may fight with the British by themselves, but not for the EU. They will not fight for them. That, and I don't believe that will happen. I believe that if anything, the Irish will leave like they did in the Second World War and go and fight with the British. And that is my belief. So I'm hoping that once the Britain goes without no deal, we'll see the EU army and we'll see, it'll be a real wake up call for us to actually see the EU will come back and try and enforce the army. And so we're here on talking to a man well known in the UK called Banksy and we're going to talk about Brexit, the disaster of what it's become and why it's become that. And we're going to have a quick chat about Islam as well. So, yeah. to so um, you're welcome, Banksy. I've heard a bit about you, but um, you'll have to tell me all about it. So let's start about today in the four senior government figures resigning over Brexit. What's happening over there? Oh, utter chaos is happening. The uh, the government's falling apart. The, the the problem is there's no democracy left on this continent anymore. The uh, if the people wanted democracy, they would leave the EU and then campaign to rejoin. Uh, the fact that they want to block it is just the uh, professional class. The, the the thing that I find quite strange is the Irish border thing, like considering there was 30 years of violence on both sides. Yeah. Now, and I'm from from uh, from the Republic and from, you know, a quite a different sort of point of view from Northern Ireland. But I even feel it's wrong for them that that they should be left with us Um because that's not what they, you know, and I do feel that that is wrong, that, it, you know, that they're they're putting the the border in Northern Ireland rather than I think for you best thing would for the British in my opinion from what I can see is because they were never going to give you a deal and they were never going to let you out that was never going to happen was to leave without a deal and let them chase you for the deal because well, exactly we, we, we just need to get out I mean the uh, remainers think that this is a uh, a charge to a cliff. I consider it a, a race to the lifeboats because the EU is in utter 
chaos across Europe, from uh, Hungary to Italy, and many other places that the uh, even to Spain, the um, uh, left-wing government in charge there is hanging by a thread, and at any moment the whole system could collapse. And I do think it will collapse, but I think it's up to the British to stand up now and say we're leaving with no deal because. This isn't a deal. What they want is to use Northern Ireland, which I think will cause havoc with the DUP. And I don't know why she agreed to this, rather than leave with no deal and let the Brit let the, the Europeans chase you. Because particularly, like, I think Irish government has gone completely the wrong way about this. But our government is another story, complete leftist. But tell me, like, where oh, do you no, see... Oh, no, 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 you're wrong there. You're wrong there, because Theresa May is a Marxist. If you look at the, uh, at the Tory party policy, our so-called right-wing government, they are pursuing equality policies, which is a Marxist policy. It's a equality of opportunity is fine, but what they are pursuing is equality of outcome, and that's Marxism. Uh, the BBC, in, within the NHS, uh, within government departments, they are looking to equalise everybody up to the same level, which in the end means equalising everybody down to zero. And you might think that you've got a crazy left-wing government, and so is ours. And Theresa May is just a tool, a puppet of Europe. And they just don't realise how out of touch they are. And we haven't had, in, in, in Britain, we haven't had anybody to vote for for 20 years. Uh, you go back to uh, the, the rag end of the, uh, the last Labour government, uh, then you end up with the uh, uh, Conservative and the Liberal um, uh, uh, Pact. And that was, that was a government founded on a lie. The Liberals promised to get rid of uh, student loans and reneged on it. Mm. it uh, all their votes, all their parliamentary seats were gained on a lie. And we've had a fraudulent government now for 20 years. And the establishment, the media, and everybody are completely complicit with this. And there's only 10% of these people that run the country. The rest of us, the rest of us are just kept in dark like mushrooms. Does this go back to Tony Blair when all this kind of he? I think he was the start of all this breakdown of your your, your country. I think because he was a huge amount oh. of the immigration into your country. Wasn't he the one who wanted to open the borders to all sorts of different nationalities without really proper checks? Well, yes. Uh, uh, one of uh, Tony Blair's ministers from the northwest stated that, or in Mandelson, stated that they were running, wandering around Pakistan handing out leaflets saying come to Britain uh, what they're doing is they're importing voters and uh, uh, if this government falls we could end up with bloody Corbyn as Prime Minister bloody hell but you oh have... yeah it's bloody hell that's frightening I, he's insane from what I can see of him um, Like he really tries to get involved in Irish politics and really doesn't have a clue. Well, you see, there's, there's been an ongoing campaign of lies on uh, many parts. There's, uh, the, the, there is a rift between communities on the island and in Scotland, but it's a lot overblown. Uh, and it's stirred up again by just a few people. And if we could get rid or get past them people is probably a better word of saying it. 95, 98% of us can live 
quite happily side by side. Absolutely, yeah, no, I totally. What about th- this Home Secretary, a Muslim Home Secretary? Is that not quite a dangerous thing to do? Who swore in in the Quran? Like that's quite a. Why would you do that? Or why would she do that? That's like um, suicidal almost. It's the again, it's the Marxist uh, theory of everything being equal that. Uh, Islam is equal to Christianity, is equal to Buddhism. And no matter what the evidence uh, produced on the, uh, in the news, nobody will, discuss, will, will look at the facts. Uh, and within the Quran, it states that uh, you must use other Muslims as your friends and helpers. And wherever you get a Muslim in charge of a department, it becomes completely Islamized. And you can just guess who is getting promoted within the police, the prison services, the judges, the magistrates, within the, uh, with customs and excise. Uh, we are sat here wide open to an Islamic invasion with a Muslim in charge of our borders. Absolutely crazy. I don't understand um, why they would do that. That that is just like a suicide. Like why after the amount of attacks after attacks the UK have um, gone through? Like the, the, the weirdest one was that child when they blew up the children. And they turned around and said that they would go and mine the mosques. It's like, what? Uh, well, yeah, but the chief, the chief superintendent, uh, there's another one of them. There was a Caribbean carnival uh, where 10 people had pellet wounds. And I've been struggling to figure that out. Were they... Was it an air gun that they were uh, getting shot at? Well, the information I'm getting is it was three men in a car shouting, Allo Akbar, discharged a shotgun into the crowd. Jesus. Yes. And the man put in charge, his second name, Chief Superintendent Chowdhury. Gosh. And nothing in the news about it. Now, if it had been a white supremacist or anybody else, or even just a white person firing at a black crowd, it would have been uproar but it isn't is it i think they mention this white supremacist i have never seen white supremacists in my life the so-called white supremacists supposed to be dangerous yet they don't seem to be blowing it's the same thing as what they say about russia i don't know if you've seen the french prime minister saying russia he wants a eu army from russia and america it's like you wouldn't even have france if it wasn't for america what is wrong with you people like, it, it's, a, it, it's a psychosis. It, it, it's, it, it goes all the way back to De Gaulle. Uh, De Gaulle, when he um, uh, when he was the Prime Minister of France and the French Empire was uh, breaking up, he handed out French passports to Algeria and places like that, trying to build an alliance with Islam and Europe against America. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, it's it, it's crazy. Like, uh, Ireland only has links, really. We're not, because we're an island, island uh, nation. And we were separated, not just from Europe, but from the world. We were very much an isolated people. So we don't have links. So our government's, like, really forcing this links with Europe. Our links are really with the UK, with you guys, and with America. That's who our links are, and maybe Australia. It, it's from those people, that's where we emigrate, that's where we, all our roots are, that's where we have links. And they're being, trying to be severed, um, cut by, by from America and cut from, our government's cutting from America and cutting with you guys, which is quite, quite, he wants to do trade with you, but with, under the EU, it's just, it's really madness. But what I'm trying to work out with this Brexit stuff, it's four senior governments resign like what's going to happen now will this go through because i think 
it's a really bad deal. And why 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 go through it? Like I mean, all along she said Brexit was for Brexit. Brexit was Brexit. Well, so the, 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 she has she has only one choice. Uh, but, um, I think we're getting to the point on the mainland that um, it will either have to be a hard Brexit with civil unrest or no Brexit with civil unrest, uh, and. That's the that's the future that we face in the next few years. Um, See, I don't think no matter what you give the Germans and the French, they don't want it because they don't want you to leave. Neither did the Irish, by the way, the Irish government. Um, so they're going to put under whatever amount of pressure you, you can because they know once you leave, once you truly leave, the EU will collapse within years right not, may not even last two years after you go because right? it will collapse because once you get out and you get successfully other countries will go a lot of eastern europeans um hungary Italy, a load of countries will more than likely follow right um and well, a lot of the think, things a lot they might well follow but the uh, and then we can have actually what britain has wanted all the way along, which is a trading partnership with everybody. We don't. Which uh, not the EC was. Yes, not the and that's what we. That's what we voted to join. We didn't vote to join the United States of Europe, and even then, if they would have given uh, Cameron a uh, an alteration in the treaty to. Um, uh, I don't know, perhaps having elected president of Europe and a proper council and a proper um, parliament that can put legislation forward, they only have to swing 2% of the vote. We would still be in, but they didn't. So they proved themselves to tyrants. And there's one thing these islands have proven in the, in the Republic and England and Scotland and Wales, we don't put up with tyrants at all. Yeah. See, I don't think this European project was ever going to work. I don't know whether you know, Ireland was asked, we were asked um, in a, to join the EU. They called it once Lisbon and then they called it Nice, right? So they asked us. First time we said no. And they said, OK, you got that answer wrong. You're going to have to try it again. So they gave it again. They said, oh, close call. We'll ask you in a few years. So then they changed the name to Lisbon, voted no again. They said, again, you've got the answer wrong. You're not very good at these questions, <laughs> are you? You're supposed to say yes, you want to be in. So anyway, they then decided that they were not going to ask us again. They were going to find out why we didn't want to be in. Um, and they called it the Dublin Agreement, which was only supposed to be why we wanted to be in. But instead, they took it as in, these are the things that they, they needed to do for us. And they did none of them. Absolutely none. One was the refugee thing, was that you, they cannot come all the way to Ireland. If there is a refugee crisis, that they must stay where they're safe. They can't travel to Ireland. Like, all of it has been broken. So we're actually kept in illegally. And it was reports of actually boxes being taken um, and changed. So it's actually the whole system. It's not just Britain, the whole system is very, very rough. It's a very illegal, and each of the European countries are being broken. And the you, you, can, you, can, you can see echoes of this that's happening in Florida or America at the moment, the rigging of the ballot box, the uh, sudden uh, location of thousands of votes that just happen to be all Democrat votes. This is, the left are liars, and our society is based on truth. The left are liars, and that's the only way that they can get into power is by lying to the people. And the, yeah. the newspapers are part of it, the politicians, and the church, oh, yeah. good grief, uh, I, I despair talking to priests, I honestly do. They, they yeah. cannot see the wood for the trees. They, 
they pray in church every every Sunday for the victims of um, oppression and this, that, and the other. But what are you going to do about it? Mm. The Bible says the Bible says that you can't just put God onto the battlefield. You've got to back it up with action. And See, the problem with, with, with it is that the the church gets too much money now. Like coming from a very overhaul, it was very Catholic in this country. But to be honest with you, the Irish Catholic is quite different from being a Christian because Irish Catholics never learn the Bible. And the thing is, there will be God. There was God before the church and there will be God after the church. But the problem is people don't get to actually learn the Bible. And that's the biggest problem with it. Um, even with, um, because they don't actually even understand the whole thing of it. Like Protestants, what we celebrate is your Protestants. It's not the the Lutheran Protestant of the um, of the real, original one. We celebrate, or we celebrate, in, or not celebrate. The the religion of Protestant in this country is your is the British one. So we are called Church of Ireland, which is really Church yeah. of England. Um, and then you've got Catholicism, which is from Rome. Now the only reason why. There, there is more Catholics in this country than there is Protestants is because when they were trying to convert the, because the Irish were pagans, the Celts were pagans, they wanted to convert them. The Rome sent over priests who spoke Irish, where the British spoke, sent over um, pastors and whatever who spoke English. Now, obviously, the Irish didn't speak English at that stage. And that is the only reason why the Irish are Catholic. The, the majority of them are Catholic. Nothing to do with actual the religion. But there you go. Anyway, that's a, a fact of our, an interesting fact. But they hold on. It's, to it. it's, it's hugely complicated. The whole the whole thing is. is uh, we we've just had a debate on one of my other channels about um, whether. The, the basis of uh, our English common law is Christian. Well, it's it's it comes from much before that. Our culture is probably five thousand years old. It's got Roman law in it, Greek law in it, customs and practice from millennia ago. But still. That I still will maintain that you can boil it down to the Ten Commandments, and perhaps that comes from uh, from Greco-Roman. Certainly, with St. Paul uh, getting rid of the uh, other laws and, and sending everybody back to the Ten Commandments, it's each form of Christianity brings into it its previous culture. Same with Islam. That's why there's different forms of Islam. The Alawites are different to the Sunnis, who are different to the Shias, who are different to the uh, Sufis. Especially the Indian Sufis brought a lot of Hinduism over with them. But, but isn't 95% of Islamics um, Sunni? Isn't that it's like something like 95? So the, the rest are quite tiny sects, even the next big one, Shia, Shia, which is from Iran, but that still would be 95 is Sunni. So it's quite the rest are quite small population wise towards um, Sunni. So Sunni would have the huge majority in most countries. They are, they are now, yeah. Uh, Sufi Islam used to be the aggressive one. Uh... 500 years ago uh, when they were slaughtering the Hindus and the Sikhs on the subcontinent uh, which is why they ended up with so much Hinduism in them uh, but that's how everything has gone on in life, we are after all uh, uh, violent chimps that are controlled a little bit at times by uh, a moral code and if your model oh, code you're is control Christianity. Um, I mean, if you look at the Old Testament before, it was quite violent. And that was before Christianity, because when Jesus came, obviously, he brought Christianity. So the Old Testament is before Christ and the New Testament is the life of Christ. 
because we were supposed to live like Jesus. Jesus was obviously our example, and unlike Muhammad, that he didn't have, he didn't visit hell like Muhammad has visited hell, and he talks about it, and that um, the devil had, Satan had taken hold of uh, Muhammad's tongue, where Jesus never did that. He was born without sin and lived with without sin. Um, so, so that's quite different. So that's why we were supposed to live. But you can see as religion is leaving, um, Christianity is leaving these, we're going back to that Old Testament, that very violent murder, rape, and having no value on life, even with um, the abortion that has been brought into Ireland, which is going to be the most barbaric one in the whole of Europe and possibly the world. It's a very sick one. Um, and it's quite different from because when England brought them in about 56 years ago, it was for extreme cases and it was for, um, because it was 50, 60 years ago, medication or medical advancements hadn't achieved as much as they have now. So there was no other way where that's far from the truth now. But they've brought it in. Again, money. It's all about money. Either this EU is about money. Everything is it's, about you know, money. It's, it's, I, think it, I think it goes all the way back to the teachings of Trotsky. In, uh, when the Soviets first took charge in the Soviet Union, uh, they m deliberately moved populations about to undermine the locals' resistance. Soviet, they... Uh, Remove their social centres, as in pubs. They re removed their coherence so they could divide and rule. And being as the Western Europeans, to a nation, broadly speaking, rejected communism, their only answer has been to replace us. And you, uh, you go look around the towns of Britain. And it's happened. You go look around Dublin now, as far as I can yeah. see on the YouTube, it's happening there. Oh, you completely, have... all over Ireland, this, absolutely. This, this is a crime against humanity. And uh, completely. We, it's, been imposed, it's been imposed on us by our own people. Absolutely. It's so where, where, where do you think, what do you think is next? Where do you think we go? How do you... Where do we think, like this Brexit, which was not just your hope, but a lot of Europeans hope, because if you break the EU, and I do believe if you break it, it it'll start a chain reaction. Um, and I do hope that you just leave without a deal and let the EU chase you, because I, I don't see the point in you signing a deal that it is not. But she's obviously been threatened because she came out of that meeting kind of very like um oh you know this is a great deal and this is the no she didn't say that she said this is the best deal we can get really you'd be better off with no deal than that deal and that's what she was saying all along so why now sign for northern ireland to be left in the union and um, the custom union and to have a border in 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 the sea which from 30 years of violence, I just can't understand why she would agree to something like that. Marxist. She's, she's a Marxist. You see what I mean? The, the, uh, there is no loyalty to the people. It's all loyalty to the system. It's all loyalty to the party. She is part of this, whatever this <coughs> globalist com, uh, conspiracy is, she's part of it. You can't trust any of them. We need to completely replace our political class and our civil servants. It needs to be completely drained. The swamp needs to be drained. And thank the Lord for Ruddy Trump. We have at yeah. least got a chance. A chance. Yeah. And a lot <laughs> of the Eastern European countries. Like Hungary yeah, well, and Austria now and Italy. Well, see, they've had they've had a personal history with Islam, whereas Britain hasn't. They've yeah. also they've only just come out from behind the Iron Curtain, so they haven't had the drip feed of the uh, nicey nicey Marxism. They've had it 
full ball and they don't want it back. They've only been out from under the heel of uh, Russia for what thirty years. Why? Why the hell? Would, why the hell would they uh, volunteer to to join another tyranny? Because Absolutely. You, look, you look at Juncker. If you get a European army, what's the difference between that and the KGB? Somebody in power, without a vote, with his own personal army. He might as well be yeah. seized. Hitler or Stalin. That's where Europe is going. And and it keeps going that way. Napoleon, Hitler, bloody Marx. Uh, the, the European culture and the, and the uh, Western, shall we say, American, British, Australian culture. Uh, it, 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 there is a, a, a divide between collectivism and individualism, and Europe keeps going down the collective track. Napoleon from the French Revolution, uh, even, even um, oh, what were his name in Spain? When you read into what happened in the uh, Spanish Civil War, oh God, it was so bloody and horrible. And, and it took them 60 years to get over it. We don't need to go there. The only answer is democracy. Absolutely. And they seem to have been able to brainwash so many people so quickly to, to this union. Like, like, I just can't understand how particularly Ireland, because we're an island, we were completely not links. But suddenly, you know, you get your kids coming home and they're saying they're white Europeans. It's like, I would have never heard that when I was a kid. I was always told I was Irish. If you had a colour, you were green. <laughs> and that was the colour. You're either green or orange in this country. You're not white. So how they could try and kill off the identity, the nationality, so quickly, like it started, I really do believe, in schools. Yeah, oh yeah, universities, teaching teachers into kindergarten. Our schools do, I've not educated for probably 35 years now, they indoctrinate. And again, you go back to um, Blair's government, and you can see policies there where they start bringing in um, social this and get rid of religion and e everything is equal and everybody uh, deserves the same respect apart from the indigenous people of the island who, who are all brutal Nazi racists. Shocking, isn't it? It's, it's really it's what like Germany it. has bloody won the war. But there's the shocking I think thing that I find really is the amount of people still asleep. They're still not putting the dots together. It's like it, it's very like there's been crime and crime. They've imported all these black um Africans, mainly North Africans. Now they're all young men in Dublin and they're running riots. Now, before they run riots, before this happened, the government started cutting back on the Gardaí, which is our police services. So they start c closing down Gardaí stations. And then they move all these violent thugs, young men who are very, very violent, in. It's like, this is bloody obvious. This is planned yeah. invasion by our government. Yeah. And, and they, again, the for some reason, there is an alliance between our elite and Islam. Yeah. And, well, I tell you uh, what it is. It's paedophilia. They know there's a lot <clears throat> of paedophiles in your government and even in our government. And they know once Islam comes in, it's even better than the Catholic Church because the Catholic Church, yeah, was holier than thou and whatever. But this, you can't even criticize it because then you become an Islamic phobic, a racist, a bigot. So you can't even, so they can rape. So the elites, there's an awful lot of elites who are into paedophilia and that's where the link is. Yeah, they, 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 they are truly their evil. Uh, and I, 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 I can't comprehend how we've got here 
it, uh, well, we're doing go all the way back to Cyril Smith and uh, Jimmy Savile, and it's all evidence. <coughs> uh, Ted Heath, it's all evidence of the elites just wanting to rape kids and yeah. destroying the nation for their own sexual desire. And it's they, they, they want to live in their billionaires' mansions in gated communities and just have robots wiping their ass for them and sod the rest. Absolutely. They're evil. They're evil. That's it. Well, even if you look at people like Bono and the Pope, right? Both of them go on about open, <coughs> open borders and all that sort of stuff, right? If you saw Bono's house, he lives in a massive house. He bought his neighbor's house so they couldn't look into the garden. Yet he goes on about open borders. It's like you don't even allow your children to mix with Irish people. You never mind with the with the so-called refugees. It's all completely bullshit. They do something, but they they say something, but do something completely the opposite. It's look at look at look at the album covers of Bono's records. And tell me he's not a kiddie fiddler. Just look it up. The boy, yeah. yeah. An innocence. Mm. It's yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's hidden in he plain has sight. Five children though. He has maybe five children himself. Well, I don't mean to say what he does behind closed doors, does it? Mm. Or what he promotes. I mean, the, the thing is, you don't actually have to partake in any of this. You don't know uh, to actually promote it, do you? Yeah. I mean, it's just, he, he's been acting very odd, like he dressed up as the devil and started Nazi saluting um, Hungary and just being absolutely disgusting, very, um, very rude and very abusive towards Donald Trump and well, this, it's like, why don't you give up all? If you really believe in what you're saying, give up all your money, Bono. Give up your houses in France. Give up all your houses in Ireland, in the UK, in America. Give them up and give them to these people. But you're not going to ever do that. So shut up. Like, it, it's completely one hand all, saying something you have no all, intention of doing all, yourself. They've all sold their souls for money. They have. Lisa, thank you so much for the chat, and I'll catch you again when um, we're finding out more about Brexit. Thank you so much for taking the call. It was just to, to find out your thoughts on what was happening today. So thank you very much on the Bonnery Show, listening to Banksy, and we'll catch up with him again. Thank you very much for taking the call. Cheers, and bye-bye, love. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. 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 Now for us, leaving the European Union is now indeed a liberation. It's a European Union that we're told is now to become an empire, a militarised European Union, an undemocratic European Union, a European Union that seeks to continually expand to the east, a European Union that has launched a new Cold War against the United States of America, a European Union that tries to rewrite history. And I think 100 years on from the armistice, we should be genuinely worried. The idea that this new militarised union is somehow a recipe for peace, I suggest you will sit back and think a little bit more carefully. Maybe you should all reread history. The European project was set up to stop German domination. What you've seen today is a naked takeover bid. So I think Brexit becomes a necessity after this. And for the rest of the countries, Mrs Merkel, you've had a long, successful career. But your political decision to open up the doors unconditionally is the worst decision we've seen in post-war politics in Europe. Is it not time for you at last to admit that you were wrong? Is it not time for you to say to German communities and many others, I'm sorry for what I've done to you and the problems I've inflicted upon you for many decades? You are listening to Irish News Radio at irishnews.net. Email news at irishnews.net.